Farming in Minecraft is boring. What do you even do with it? Hoe the ground, put some water around it, plant a seed, bone mill it up and harvest it? That's nothing. What if instead it was way harder to maintain and also completely unnecessary? Anyhow, in other unrelated news, uh, today we're adding overcomplicated farming to Minecraft. I'm, I'm actually just going to get rid of these so you don't know I've already done stuff. So then, let's add the quote unquote first item. Okay, it's easy as f just watch this. The code for one of these carrots should dead ass be as simple as this. I'm not joking, that one line of code is it. But we want to make these edible, so I'm going to go down the end here, press enter and do dot food and then mod food components down here dot carrot and that'll make it so you can eat it after that we just need a generatable item model then just run data gen up the top and once that's all done well i was going to do a big reveal but <laughs> it's broken hey there you go look at that and only the time frame of like 30 seconds i have a successful working never before added item in minecraft isn't that, isn't that brilliant? Are we all happy? And using the same logic, we should just be able to copy and paste the other items into the game. There they are, ready to be exploited by every whim and need. But I think to be able to use these, we're gonna need some plants. And while sure, I could use the regular carrot plant, you can see that these can't be used to plant that, and neither can this. Only these ones can. And for that reason, I might even make it so I have my own custom version of the normal carrot item, so I don't have to worry about interfering with this one. Does that mean there'll be two carrots in the game? Yes, that's exactly what it means. But that's not my problem, so I don't care. Anyway, let's see what kind of ideas I can come up with for the plants. So overcomplicating farming is the uh, the premise of the video. I do like normal Minecraft farming, but I would like to mess around with it and just kind of just kind of see what I can do. And that's going to start off with changing the way that the plants work. We have the regular Minecraft carrot right here. So I still want to make it so they start small. And then I want occasionally for them to randomly get really big or if the conditions require it, them to just wilt and die or rot away. And that is if the, uh, the soil dries out or if it gets trodden on or if it is left in the ground for too long and it dies. And so this size of the carrot item itself will also change depending on the size of the plant and how healthy it is. And what I want to do is add this alongside a new feature for the soil. And luckily for me here, I have already actually done a page on the soil, so I'll just explain that instead. So what I'm going to do is actually rewrite the block so it's an entirely new type of block, and it's going to make it so you can hydrate it using a watering can or probably the normal water system. And that means it starts from dry, it goes to damp, to wet, hydrated, and to flooded. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to mucking around with some code. And it's time for us to try making these plants. And, and the dirt too, I guess. Yep, uh, all right. Right, let's let's see if I can do this. Um, I'm hoping so. I'm either gonna cut to me failing miserably coding or enjoying myself a lot. So um, <laughs> if I'm singing, that's a good sign. Just to stop the feeling. Okay, so I've got both the farm soil and the carrot crop block sorted. Here they are. They're already in the code, and that means that we should be able to open the game, and they should just be there accessible for us in the inventory. Now this might look a little weird, but I um, let's find it. Yep. Yeah, no, there's the carrot crop, and that doesn't look right at all. Uh, what happens if I do this? It is randomizing the shape of the crop, which is perfect. Anyway, uh, let's just see if this works. Yep, that's placed down as normal farmland. So to fix both of these, all I need to do is make sure that the correct opacity works, change the shape of the block, change the textures on top, and also maybe add a rotten texture and fix that texture just there. So next time you see me, it should all be all good to go. And welcome back to another game of Did That Fix It? Let's find out. Turn around. Where is it? Whoa, that doesn't look right. Oh, right. Oh, fixed. Hello. Look at the size of the thing. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot about that other thing. Uh, <laughs> this carrot's not real. Wait, no, that carrot is real. That carrot isn't real. Anyway, regarding both the carrot crop block and also the farm soil block, these currently have about as much code in them as an oak plank block does, meaning that it exists, it's interactable, but that is that is it. You can mine it, punch it, break it, and that is nothing else happens. So what I need to do is make it so this one works like the farmland block currently, and we can improve on it afterwards, and I need to make it so this one is able to be planted by the crops onto the farmland blocks and then is growable. First thing I've done with the blocks is made it so when you hoe the ground, hopefully the new kind of farm soil block will appear instead of the normal farmland. That looks very, very promising. We can farm the, uh, the hoe land. <laughs> we can farm the hoe land. Now you will notice that it's currently turning to dirt underneath me and that is because despite the model and what it's saying there, it is actually now a farmland block. Oh yeah, and also I've made it so the items can place down the carrot crops. They don't look right yet, we can sort that out later, but they can be placed. Alright, let's work on the watering system. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, please, it's okay. Alright, so I've put this down here. That should be, if I look inside of F3, hydration is zero. You can see in the top left that hydration is currently zero. I wonder if I can use the debug stick to kind of just force it into being the different stages. Here we go. That should be hydration one, hydration two is the wrong texture. Hydration 3 is better. Hydration 4 should be flooded. Okay, I need to swap hydration 2 and 1 over, but otherwise, uh, the stages are working. We we have working stuff in Minecraft. As usual in most videos, I say this, but I might just be a god among men. I think... I <laughs> yay, yay, I love coding. It's so easy. I swapped the stage 1 and 2 textures, so they should be correct now. Yep, that looks great. Look at that little gradient we got going on. Now that the stages for watering are complete, I made this little watering can model. <laughs> look, look how cute it is. Isn't that sick? It's also got a little item. 
oh my gosh, how amazing. And we're going to be able to use this item to water the plants so that way the soil will get more damp depending on how many times you click on it. And this is because right now the water block being nearby the soil will turn into a flooded soil block, which isn't going to be good for things like carrots, but might be better for things like sugarcane. So let's put this into Minecraft. I've put in the code, so hopefully if I open my inventory, it'll be right here. Hello, there she is. That's the watering can. Anyway, oh look, oh, it's so, <laughs> look how cool it is. And I hold it. Yep, there it is. I really, I'm really happy with that model. It's so cute. I uh, <laughs> Look, it's so small. Sorry, anyway, hopefully with just these lines of code here, it should work. Yeah, that looks like it's working. And I won't go any further than that. That's sick. Okay. All right, particle and sound test number one. Something's not right. Okay, so I believe what's happening is the particle's getting placed slightly too low and in the corner of the block. Yeah, you can see that's working there. So I need to up the Y by one and spread them out a bit randomly. All right, particle and sound test take two. Uh, let's see if it works this time. I'll do it on the glass block to see if the uh, particles go in the middle. Oh, that looks so much better, wait. Yes, that's working, that's good. I'm actually really happy with the watering can system. This is so sick. With the watering can sorted, it's probably about time we got onto fixing these carrot crops, which as you can see right now, <laughs> I've done the exact opposite of. But trust me, this is positive progress. Previously, it was showing off random different stages of the block state, but right now it's set so way the block state, if set to the right thing, will show the right model. However, the block can't actually access the block state just yet, meaning that it shows no model at all. So I've made some changes to the carrot crops and I have no idea if they're gonna work. Can I fertilize them? I can, I can, I can grow them and they get bigger and they won't automatically grow faster than that. Hopefully they should eventually get older and then go rotten, but I'm not 100% sure if that'll work. Oh, they are starting to grow. Whoa, one of them went rotten. Or two of them went rotten. That is brilliant news because it means it's technically working, but it's really going to need some tweaks. So <laughs> I'll see you when I've finished making them grow properly. I believe that I've sorted it out and it should now grow on the right spot and also grow onto the right size and eventually rot or get big. But just to make sure, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plant all these and just watch them grow for a bit. You can see that some of them are already starting to grow. I might just bump up the number though so it can go even faster. Grow carrots, go. Look at them go. Oh, one of them's already rotted at the back. Did you say that? Did you see how it rotted? Oh, we got a big one. We got a big one at the back. Nothing could ever be more exciting than just what? Oh, we got another big one. Another rotten one. Not rotten one. Lots of rotted ones. Okay. Well, that means it's all working. Look at that. They're all they're all getting there. They're currently on flooded ground because there is water in the middle, and that's that's weird. I don't want that. Carrots aren't going to be growing in mud now, are they? So how I want it to work instead is using farm soil. If you have the correct hydration level, then the crop will refuse to rot, or at least it won't rot as fast. So I think that should be pretty easy. Oh my god, I have been very very busy. So there are now many many factors that affect how fast a plant will grow. First of all, how much water is inside the soil will affect it. If a plant has too much water or not enough, then the rate in which it will rot will grow much faster and it will be less likely to produce a big plant. So if it is hydrated correctly, then they will grow at a much faster rate. Another factor is composting. You can now compost farmland blocks and if it has composted it, then it will make it more likely to produce a bigger plant and it is very, very unlikely to rot. And if you understood none of that, don't worry, I'm going to show you a demonstration on how it works. So what I have behind me is a race, essentially. This is every single type of soil block alongside all the different characters that way we can see exactly how fast they grow on different kinds of soils. And if all has worked as intended, then the, it should go diamond first, then emerald, then gold, and then iron. If they grow out of order, then I'm, I'm cooked, I'm screwed, I've done it wrong. So I hope you're all ready because, uh, there we go. All right, three, two, one, go, race, grow, 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 grow. Oh, look, you can see the big ones getting way bigger on the compost. Yeah, the diamond's already finished. The diamond's already done. Okay, that's pretty That's pretty conclusive. Okay, I think I need to tweak it a little bit because the stuff that's on composted soil but not on the correct hydration things should rot and that is currently not happening. Weeks have been made and race two is ready for action. All right, three, two, one, go. Go race two. Look at them grow. Look at them grow on the nicely fertilized and nicely done up soil. They're almost done. They're growing big. Some of them are already rotting on the other side. That's because they are on the bad soil. Bad, bad soil. Oh, some of them are rotting away. This one's almost entirely done. I think it might be done. This one will eventually rot, but it's going to take a while. But you can see here, these two are the very clear winners. Yes, I've coded it right. I love myself. Oh my god, that took all fucking day. <laughs> Oh, the crops are growing, man. At long last, I come to the final thing that I think I need to do to the carrots, and that is to add a loot table, which I've gone ahead and done. I also made it so you can eat all of these, and they'll give different amounts of hunger depending on the size. And the rotten carrot will give you nausea if you eat it, which seems fitting. <sighs> After all that absolute mess of stuff, I personally think that I should build a house and give myself a bit of a break for a while. What a lovely spot to put my new house. Shut up. I won't lie, I'm not done building, but there is something I really wanted to show you because it just looks so sick. If I do that, if I sit up here like this, this is going to look proper cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. 
It does look a little bit like a throw up on it. Oh my god, the, all the copper is oxidized as well. I'm just gonna keep it like that. That's okay, that's a cool touch. And it's actually based on this image right here that I got from Pinterest. This is where we're gonna showcase stuff for the rest of the video. Well, there's much left for us to do. I mean, we've got through a lot, you know? There's quite a lot of stuff. I'm pretty proud of myself, and uh, you guys should be proud of yourselves too. But we're making it this far in the video. Yeah, you, sh you should subscribe. Yeah, it's a good idea. <gasps> no, wait, my crops are growing. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, they're all gonna rot now. No, they're all rotten. Anyway, uh, back to it, I guess. Where there's gonna be a bunch of new plants in game soon, so I hope you're excited for that. Okay, test number one for new types of crops. Test number one is the potato crop. If this one works, it means I will be able to add all the other ones without any problems. Uh, we got shriveled potato, normal potato, big potato, and rotten potato. I should be able to eat these like normal. And hopefully I can plant a potato crop in the ground. And let's see if they can grow correctly. And can they grow big and can they rot? Whoa, okay, big is broken. All right, there we go. The big potato crop is now all fixed up. It's working properly, I believe. Will it have the correct loot table? Yes, it does. It drops a big potato and a couple small ones. And the final question, will it rot? Yeah, it rots, let's go. With those implemented, that means I can pretty well just copy and paste a bunch of new versions of crops. Four crops, that's how many we've got. We've got wheat, beetroot, carrot, and potato. And we can plant all of these, and none of these are actually the real in-game ones. They're the ones that I've made myself. All of them can be grown up to the correct level of bone meal or on top of the ground, and also I can use the debug stick to show you the full-size versions and also the rotted versions. We have four fully functional crops in game. Here's the rest of the items if you want to see those. You've got a shriveled beta and that kind of stuff and rotten wheat. But anyway, with all of those added into the game, we're pretty well done with our farm and that's all the crops that I intend to add today. However, there's one more feature that I'd like to add to make the watering process a bit easier. And um, if you can't tell, <laughs> this mod's just turning into Stardew Valley. And the final thing I'll be adding will be the sprinkler, which is this object just here. And what this is going to be used for is water hydration control. And I'll explain that in just a second once we're in Minecraft again. Here is the sprinkler in game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to place it down yet though. Let's Let's have a check. Let's have a, have a little gander. <laughs> that doesn't, that's not quite right. Okay, take two. Let's see if that works. Oh, there it is. There's the sprinkler. Oh, that is a nice little block. And I think so far the only functionality it has is that it won't water the crops just yet. But if I right click it, it should change block states. It does. It cycles through the mold. Okay, that's brilliant. So how I'm going to use this block is that the different colors on top are going to correlate to a different level of hydration on the farmland. That being dry and then like damp wet, hydrated, and flooded. So let's make it so the farmland can scan for the block nearby. I've finished implementing all the sprinklers code, so hopefully this means I've currently got the game frozen on the tick crate, but it means that surely all of these things around here will synchronize to be the same kind of hydration. Now currently it's set to dry. Why you would want a dry sprinkler, I'm not sure, but it will prevent it from turning to dirt when it does go dry. So if I set this to uh, 300, let's just... Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so all of them are dry now, and if I set it to the next one, Ooh, they all turn to dirt. They all turn to dirt. Oh no. <laughs> Alrighty then, take two. This is currently set to dry. If I put that down, that should go back to being dry again. Yep. Okay. And then if I set it to the next level, whoa, that is weird. Okay, take three. So that synchronizes all... No, 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 that's not synchronizing at all. All right, this should work this time. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't, then I've done something very, very wrong. So it's currently set to dry. All these are synchronized to be dry. And if I set it to the next one, it should go slightly darker. There you go. All right, look, they're all synchronized. And the next one, a little bit more synchronized, a little bit more water. Go on, good boy. And then there we go. That one's all, that's all perfectly hydrated. And then we should be able to set it to flooded, which is the same as normal water. Which have a gander that sprinklers officially work and they are all sorted in game. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's such a cool feature. And what that actually means is I can go down around my farm and make it so the carrots don't keep rotting so much by setting all my sprinklers to be the correct version instead of water. Those all should be on the correct type of soil now. Isn't that sick? That's pretty sick. I think it's pretty sick. If you put two different types of sprinklers next to each other, it does give a really weird effect where they're kind of just fighting as the different blocks tick and check for different types of sprinklers. They're just kind of sick and I'm just going to leave it that way. It's not really much I can do about it, to be honest. Oh, yep. No, that is that is a strange effect. And just in case you're wondering, the different hydration levels that the different plants like go like so. So the beetroot likes it at one, just like that. This one likes it at three. This one likes it at two, this one likes it at two as well. Now admittedly, this means there's no dry or flooded versions of the crops, but luckily that's not my issue because I will be releasing this mod to have its code public, meaning that you will be able to download the mod from my GitHub page and use it as much as you want and do whatever you want with the code. Realistically, I'm unlikely to continue working on this mod after this video, so it's up to someone else if they want to do it, and I think it could be a lot of fun if you want to go ahead with it. But yeah, between the different crop sizes, watering the plants, and also using sprinklers, I think I'm pretty damn happy with how this has gone. And this is definitely overcomplicated microfarming. So I think we've been successful in our 
mission, and I can finally go retire to my farmhouse and grow my crops for my content, and probably dig up all the rotten ones as well. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and seen the process of the mod, and almost learned a little build behind me. If you feel like it, you can also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 30k soonish. I don't really know when. And um, leave a comment on what you thought. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.